G'day lads, Green here, and boy do I have an interesting one for you today. This here is Nick, or as he goes by online, Super Spelling Mistake, and he's been making for the last roughly four-ish years some fascinating, some riveting online content. Here's a quick montage of what exactly to expect. <laughs> Now, one of the first things I noticed watching these videos is the fact that he's wearing the same shirt in almost every single one of these videos, which makes me think that he's either just playing a character and that this is just his character's clothes, like I do with the Mr. Green Tech stuff, kind of, or he is bulk recording these videos, which I can't get the thought out of my head of him doing one stunt where he takes his shirt off, does his whole fucking intro thing, and then does the stunt, and then immediately goes, picks up his shirt, puts it back on, only to then just pull the shirt off once again, and then do the stunt. That just seems <laughs> funny as hell to me. Now, uploading daily is quite a grueling task. I would know, I used to do it for a good bit. Don't anymore, and you can thank YouTube for that. But to keep yourself sane, you need at least somewhat some variety. You can't just do the same stunt twice, where you jump <laughs> as first into a bunch of light tubes. Oh no, you gotta change it up a bit. So what do you do? This is Super Human Tutorial today we do a ball flip onto light tubes. This is for juggalos and juggalettes. This is Super Human Tutorial today we jump you onto light tubes, mouse traps. This is for juggalos and juggalettes. You just add some mouse traps to it. Now, another thing you might notice with Nick's content is the fact that he titles a lot of his videos with these weird tags like WWE Slam Style and NFL Style. Now, I don't really know what makes running into a fence NFL Style and then chugging a bunch of hot sauce, and I guess we may never know. Today I'm going to be drinking hot sauce and running into this gate. This is for Jiggalos and Jiggalos. Do not try this at home and I hope you like it. Woop woop. But what we do know is that this cunt runs like Shaggy from Scooby Doo, like he's been chased by some monster of the week. Look at how far forward this guy's running. Who runs like this? What the hell? <laughs> so uploading daily, he has a total of about 509 videos as of the time of recording. And I didn't really know where to start. So naturally, I went to his playlist. And thankfully, he had a playlist already sorted for me called Extreme Backyard Stunts. So I thought that was a great place to start to try and go through his catalog of videos. But then looking through a lot of his videos, I began to wonder if he really is playing up all this pain for the camera. But you know, I have no doubt that elbow dropping a fucking flat screen TV is probably gives you a lot of pain. But watch what happens when the cameraman just pans off him. He just immediately goes from screaming in agony to completely dead silent, like he thought he'd stopped recording. But he's actually just recording the decimation of the flat screen TV that's cunts left from his elbow. Super YouTube show today, I'm going to be jumping on this flat screen TV. This is for Juggalos and Juggalettes. So try this at home, I hope you like it. Woo -woo. Fuck this shit! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god! And overall, honestly, some of these are even pushing the edge of what actually can be on YouTube, especially nowadays with all the content guidelines of gore and all the other weird bits and pieces. And this next stunt, I'm not actually sure that I can show the actual stunt in motion, so instead I'm just going to show you the before and the aftermath. And I think I might get away with it, still don't know this video is really going to get through the whole meditation, but you damn sure I'm going to fucking try. <laughs>
Fuck this! Oh! 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 Man, that's the fucking thumbnail right there. I don't think I'm gonna get any better reactions from this cunt looking through all 500 of his videos. That's fucking cold. <laughs> But I mean, really, I don't know how this cunt isn't going to hospital yet with all the dangerous shit that he's doing. What's up, guys? This is Super Green Tea Show, and I have to go to the hospital because I did a stunt and I cut my arm open. This fun trick of listening to you guys. We'll see guys, you guys. We're there. at the hospital right now, about to get all stitched up. Woo -woo. I am waiting to get some stitches. Oh. Never mind. You'd think out of all these dangerous stunts like jumping into barbed wire and bricks and microwaves, that out of all of them, this would be the least one you'd expect to actually get stitches in your elbow from. But I mean, you know, I guess that's the luck of the draw when you elbow drop, ass first, and then also Mickey flip and front flip into a bunch of objects on the daily, I guess. That's bound to happen eventually. <laughs> Another thing that's really consistent across all of Nick's videos is the fact that they're all fucking filmed in vertical, which, if you're uploading to YouTube or just the internet in general, just turn the phone. So I was really trying to find out who was filming this thing, and lo and behold, his latest upload, I'm actually gonna have to look off screen because it's actually a really dumb title and I want to get it right. The Getting Spear into Light Tubes WWE Barista Style Slow Mo Version. <laughs> Which is a bit of a behind the scenes video, and you see him pop into frame for just a minute. This is Superhuman TV show, I'm with my good friend Paul, and he's got to spear me through light tubes. This is Paul, drink another thing, drink a light. Don't try this at home, I hope you like it. Woo, woo. Ah, 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 fuck this shit! But looking through this guy's content, this is actually his dad, which. Does this mean that the entire time his dad has been encouraging him to film these videos? He's been the one filming all this dangerous stuff? What kind of parent lets their kid do this? I mean, you know, at the end of the day, I am kind of making fun of this kid who obviously has some sort of mental issue. But is this really a thing that you should be encouraging your kid to do? God, what the fuck? <laughs> In fact, specifically the dad and the mom are so involved with the channel that they both had their own separate characters at one stage in a series that he called the Psycho Kid and the Psycho Dad series. Which is no doubt inspired by Boogie's like Francis character, where you're playing up and the autist levels are just spiking through the fucking roof. So here's this goddamn gem with the dad and the son. Where's your son at? In his room, why? The fucking, he never freaking flushes the toilet. Nicholas, how many times do I have to tell you? Flush the toilet after you pee, it's yeah, a fucking fuck you. You know what this line specifically reminds me of? Why does somebody not know how to flush the toilet after they've had a shit? For me. Well, it was fucking one of yes. Disgusting! Oh, fuck me, yeah, fuck yeah, you. Yeah, what the fuck you know? Fucking hey, bullshit. give me my fucking Pokemon card! See no, no, you do no, that? fuck this, Nicholas. <laughs> You know, the, all this shit right here. You ah! the what the fuck? What the fuck? Ah! <laughs> you fucking bitch, you doing? Fucking. I mean, apart from the obvious like autist level spiking, like I said before, the thing that's funny to me about this specific video is that it has in the title Pokemon cards, which makes you think that it's his entire collection. But no, you can clearly see it's just some random three cards within his collection that he knows he won't miss that are worth nothing. And you just watch him plop in the toilet and they, you know, it's probably not even three, it might have been like two or one cards. <laughs> Got fucking clickbaited. Now, there was another introduction early into the Psycho lore, where there's this girl that just appears in the videos as his sister. I don't really know if it's his sister or his girlfriend. We'll probably never fucking know. It might have been a thing of a girl that he had a thing with. That's a fucking sentence, but I'm keeping it in there because I don't give a fuck. But yeah, they have such a strange dynamic together. <laughs> Here's this example of this fucking gem. Crickets. Huh. No shit. What's up? There's also this other video that he did with her where he gets his legs waxed. And it almost sounds like that he's in more pain getting the wax put on his leg than actually getting it pulled off. Which, you know, I know that the wax is hot, but still it just gets me every time. <laughs> 
Fucking help me. What are you doing? Me. Fucking help me. She's trying to bash my fucking legs. Good, fucking good. Sick? No, it's not. You deserve good. it. No, I don't fucking deserve this. Yes, you do. <laughs> no, yes, you do. No. Ha, ha, ha. Shit. It's not fucking funny. Get this fucking shit. Ah! Ah! God damn it. No. Fuck. God. Fuck. And one of the last entries in this series is probably one of my favorite, where Psycho Dad cuts Psycho Kid's hair. And just, just watch it for this ending of the video. Well, if you can't sleep, you should at least- Why the fuck are you filming me? Like seriously, I'm trying to fucking watch Pokemon you and you won't fucking leave me alone, you fucking stupid you ass bitch! Leave do. me the fuck alone, you stupid ass bitch! I don't give a fuck, Hey, okay? hey! What the you, fuck do you want? You won't get a job! I'm not- You know, fuck What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck? Where is ah! there? there you go. <gasps> Why are you fucking kidding me? Fuck this shit! Fuck this shit! Fuck this shit! Ah! Man, look at these fucking sickest Dark Souls rolls, dude. Looks like he's trying to dodge the attacks from a major boss in the video game. And also, look at this giant party that's in the background. And you just know that a guy in his front yard screaming, rolling around, and then putting his face in the dirt has got to grab the attention of at least someone in the party. But alas, like I mentioned, these characters were eventually put to rest in the most cryptic and strange video probably on his channel that he's done. Heck. I can't go back. I cannot go back. I can't go back. <laughs> Fuck. I mean, all this music from this video is like some underlying creepy music, and you've got the fucking start of Blair Witch 2 here. I can't go back. I cannot go back. I can't go back. <laughs> So, what's old superhuman up to nowadays? Well, he's still doing stunts. However, now, he has a friend called Paul. This is Superhuman TV Show. I'm with my good friend Paul. Who, instead of now just jumping off his little balcony he has going, he just picks him up and throws him into things now. Don't try this at home, and I hope you like it. Whoop whoop. <sighs> Fuck this shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is Superhuman TV Show. I'm with my good friend Paul. He's got F by me on two bricks and Legos. This is for Jugglers and Jugglites. Don't try this at home, and I hope you like it. Whoop whoop. <sighs> Fuck this shit! Oh god! Oh fuck! Or occasionally throws himself into Paul. Jeez, poor Paul. But you know what? Surely these stunts can't be that bad. Can they? Whoop whoop. Hello and welcome to Mr. Critic TV Show, and today I'm gonna to be jumping onto cactus and a pile of bricks doing a front flip. This one goes out to my autis and autismos. Let's just do it. Whoop whoop. <laughs> 